oh my god look at this nice snow guys it's probably one of the biggest one that i caught here let's put it in the water a little bit hopefully nothing comes and eat it back fish guys back fish bad fish i was not recording at all so we threw this purple this pink this pink bat fish paddle tail it's called bubble gumming something and we got this nice snow here we don't even have a measuring tape guys wow this is a nice fish 18 let's say 24 i'm gonna let him go all right guys we got a 24 inch snook right here in flamingo and we got it on the bat fish paddle tail let's let him go healthy release out was huge hey guys welcome to another amazing episode of fishing with alex today we got a very very special video for you guys you know why hey it's been a while since i went fishing for real but we got two new things to announce we got a brand new boat here that i bought with my own money thanks to you guys but the most important thing is we got a brand new partnership guys well it's not really brand new it's still cash go but this is bad fish see bad fish makes this incredible crate and sorry it's all wet and everything because we've been fishing we've been catching fish with the baits here but they make some cool stuff and the best part is not only that you can save ten dollars by using my coupon code alias link in the description but what is good about this company is that they use professional guides to pick the baits up for the areas you're fishing so if you're fishing texas or the Carolinas, or if you're gonna fish up north, they have crates designed to catch us. And what I've been trolling a lot so far is this bad fish premium saltwater good paddle tails. And you got different colors, you got different sizes, four, four and a half, five inches, and they got colors like goblin, disco, hot sauce. My favorite so far, and I'm gonna have to order more of these, are these bad fish paddle tails blooming because fish love pink and this is sort of like a pink color i definitely recommend you go and try some of this stuff out i've been using the pliers where are my pliers man i'm a mess do you know that i'm a mess oh look i'm a mess dude i'm a mess anyways i don't care about being a mess we got these pliers here these are really nice pliers i should put it on my pocket so i know where they are but anyway, since I'm a mess, I'll probably forget that they're in my pocket. But these so far have been very handy. I've been using it to put the Bisbee on this boat to take it off. These are not expensive at all. And why would you just have one pair? I think you should have like 10 pairs of these. Like I'm, myself, I'm always misplacing them or breaking them or whatever. Not this particular because these are new to me. But this, this, these are nice. Look at this. Premium stuff. Not too expensive. You got the cutters there and they cut through braid and you got this fancy new replaceable suckers i want to catch more fish guys enough talking let's go and catch more fish I'm going back slowly here letting the current take me that snook that i caught i pretty much cast it like like to my side here i was the other way maybe i should turn the boat let me let me show you what i was doing because i didn't have the camera rolling for that snooks Oops, i pilot is just the best stuff ever you could just control the boat with your hands here and about the boat guys this is what we have here we got the 133x tournament series from bass pro shops uh, i would delete the tournament series because this is not tournament series at all there's a lot of issues with this boat but i really like it because i could do so many things to this it's like a rigging dream if you have dreams of getting a kayak and turning it into a like a little personal boat with motors outboards and gps and all the one this is something that is gonna work amazing for that because first of all it's not expensive uh it, on sale is like 900 dollars, and it's it, you could like do stuff to it you could drill you could take risk you could do a bunch of stuff because it's not super expensive and that's what i'm loving about it because i, I dig holes already i drill into it already i've never done that like well probably the first kayak that i ever had because it was like 300 dollars. but this thing like i don't i'm not afraid to drill and do anything to it and so i'm doing it and it's gonna be an amazing series we're probably gonna do 10 videos with this boat doing all kinds of installation like you see the ipalo unit there we got the bisbee in the back testing all kinds of motors and catching a bunch of fish of it and of course making videos with cash co fishing and all that stuff i think this is gonna be special 
haven't registered yet we got 30 days to register a boat in florida and um since this one is gonna stay and it's gonna be like a project boat we're gonna register it as soon as we can just haven't had time to go do that i was here minding my own business the cameras were off because um, they turned off after 40 minutes and i'm just here like i think I, I don't even remember what i was doing i think I, I was probably just looking at my phone making sure that i didn't miss any phone call or anything like that and i had this lure here and i was bringing it back slowly like this like slowly slowly and and not there like there close to the boat like right there I feel a tug and I just set the hook a little bit set the hook and that was that snook that you saw coming into the boat and jumping all over the place and it, that it spit the lure after it was on the boat very difficult to cast like this it's a shark it's a shark right there a shark oh my god like it came so close to the boat <laughs> it's hanging look another one See the sharks? Oh my god, they're like right here. Rolling. That's two sharks. Don't put your hands on the water on this. Okay, we got something. Lose it. What is it? Oh, it got caught up with the line. With the beast feet. Oh god. First time ever that a bispy get cut up. A nice nook. Wow, first time ever that uh, I have a fish get cut up with a bispy. a nice nook <clears throat> oh my god bad fish for real dude bad fish for real this is a giant snook wonder if it's legal though bad fish look at that bad fish lures right there paddle tail the gold color wow and i'm lucky to catch this to have caught this fish because we got caught up on the bisbee like that had never happened before you gotta be careful with the sharks nice let me give in a little bit of juice wow guys i can't believe we cut this nice nook right here this nook is not 28 so we're gonna let him go wow this is probably 26 inches long <laughs> and we got it on that nice paddle tail wow crazy stuff let's go ahead and let him go make sure there is no shark nearby That was cool. Things that you didn't know you needed. This Batfish quick drying towel. I used to have a towel like this on my kayak to, you know, dry my hands and things like that, clean my cameras. And this came in handy right now. Look at this. I'm just gonna clean the lens there. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it here. And guys, we just had a nice nook and I was like washing my hands and like I'm trying to dry it and here my pants. And that's not good because it's sort of like, um, 
very windy and cold here and look I'm wearing a jacket and I just looked behind and I remember I had this heavy wind hitting us over here two motors going on a maximum speed look at the waves here the wind crazy stuff wow yeah this is not a good idea let's turn back oh my gosh another snook today is a snook day third snook of the day small one but hey there's nook of the day willis like willis is the game this color is doing the job this is a little probably 20 inch snook let's see yeah something like that let's let him go <laughs> we are heading back to land trucks over there we're, let me see how fast we're going uh, 3 miles an hour with the base speed just the base speed and all this extra weight pretty cool I can't wait to do just the base speed on this boat uh, test to see how that performs alright guys what I want to do is I want to like have the base speed push me all the way up the ramp it won't do that because I don't think it has that kind of power I have some sacrificial plate in the front uh, kill protection which I think is gonna protect the boat from the, all the concrete and all this stuff. And my, my idea, my goal is to uh, just walk out and not get wet. It doesn't matter if I get wet because I'm already wet, but I, I just wanna test this. Just get the way out. Then I'm gonna bring my truck, put the motor in there, put the battery, lift the kayak up and go home. See, let's see how this works. Uh oh, oh my god profession 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 wow profession um the bispy is way under the water so it's still protected and even if it's something happens it has a protection cap that i could replace but it's on the rotor so it's gonna kick out if it hit something but this is profession right here i can't believe it works so well it actually like put me way over the top so it's, the boat is not gonna slip out okay good don't forget to use coupon code Alix and save you ten dollars on this bad fish crate or whatever crate you want to get full of goodies full of bait that were specifically picked to fish the areas you're going to be fishing so all the information about bad fish and cash code and calls all that will be linked down below in the description if you want to see more videos about this boat i'm going to link one up when it's ready see ya next time